All right, we're going to show you how to import another email address into your Gmail account. Um, once you're logged in, you're going to want to go up to the top right where it says your name, and then you'll see the little gear next to it. Select the gear, then select mail settings. Now that your settings are up, you're going to want to choose the third option, which is accounts and import. And I want to check mail using POP3. Now, just a quick note, and I'm sure it applies to others, but if you have a Yahoo account, unless you have a Yahoo Mail Plus account, you cannot use this feature. Um, so just FYI, if you have a Yahoo account and you're wanting to import into, into Gmail, you can't. Uh, if you have a smartphone, they do make apps for them generally, but you're not going to be able to use this. So I'm going to go ahead and add a POP3 email account. And... So for those of you who are wanting to contact us, here's the email address you would be contacting. So informication, so contact and informication.com. So I put that, and then you're going to want to put the username. If you don't know this information, you'll need to find it out um, from your email provider. Now, if I can type here, I know... I need to put my stuff in there a certain way. And the options, once you get your username and password and stuff in there, you can choose to leave a copy of the retrieved message, which means even though you're pulling it in to Gmail, you're not taking it off the server. In this case, we're not going to do that here. Um, second would be always use a secure connection. Uh, the third one's label incoming messages, um, and you can do different ones. I actually do like this because it, let's say you're using two or three email accounts and you want to know which ones are coming into which address. This makes it easy to know which ones are going where. Um, and the final option is archive incoming messages, skip the inbox. Most people aren't going to use that, so I'm not going to bother explaining it. So now we're going to hit add account. Um, now you get to the, do you want to be able to send mail with the email address you've selected? Um, yeah, it's yes or no. Um, select yes. And then for name, put contact at informication.com. And you can put anything. Um, again, I'm doing this as a demonstration, so I'm not going to... Um, I'll probably have a little different preferences going through this just for, again, for demonstration purposes. I'm going to click Next. Next option is do you, if you choose to send your mail through, do you want to send your mail through Gmail, which means it just throws your label on it, um, or where it actually sends it through your mail server. This is a personal option. Um, I've used Gmail for other accounts. I haven't had any problems using Gmail sending it for me, um, but again, it is your choice. I'm going to go ahead and select send using Gmail. Um, if you do know your uh, send mail settings uh, for yours and you want to do that, go ahead and do so. So I'm going to go ahead and hit next step, then it's going to ask to send a verification. And once it does this, what you're going to need to do is go back into your other email address or, and this is always a fun fun thing, if you wait a little bit, it'll actually send that email, since you're now importing it, it'll send it to your inbox of this Gmail account. Um, and again, people can't use yours unless they know your password. They can't do this. Um, you know, you can give someone your email address, but they have to know it. So, again, you're going to log into your other email, or you're going to wait for it to cycle through and show up. Um, as you can see, I have a new label. And once it does that, you're going to get a, a code. And when you get that code, you're going to enter it into here, and you're going to select Verify. If you send the code and you're not getting it after about five minutes, you're going to want to resend email. Um, this is pretty much, it's really self-explanatory. Oh, hey, look, happened really quick. So we're going to go ahead and open this. And you can see I got my confirmation code, so I'm going to hit Control-C to copy. 
and control V to paste and I'm going to verify. So now anytime if I not that I'm going to keep this here but if I wanted to use my Informication contact, I can now be able to do it through Gmail as well. Um, hopefully that's helped. If you have any questions regarding it, um, Google does have some really good documentation. Um, if you need clarification on the tutorial, please shoot us an email. Um, again, uh, we can do as much as we can as long as we have the ability to show it uh, without violating you know, anybody's privacy, we will do so. Um, hope that's helped. Thank you very much.